be Molly Tuttle and Golden Highway, best bluegrass album. I don't think that surprised anybody. Oh, well, it was it was a wonderful surprise for me to be even up for the award. There's so many heroes and friends who are up for it as well. And it's just, I love the bluegrass community so much. It's the world that I grew up in, and it feels so great to feel that support from um, my peers. Well, you've been a really great ambassador, too, for the bluegrass community. And, Thank you. and really kind of bringing it to the attention of, you know, people in other genres, especially with what you've been doing in the past couple of weeks, too. <laughs> yes, I mean, this week being here at the Grammys, I feel like it's it's been a huge milestone for me and kind of exposed my music to others that may have not listened to me before, or listened to bluegrass before, and I've also been exposed to so many cool new bands and made new friends this week. It's really great to, to get to have this experience. So let's talk about who you've been exposed to and mm -hmm. who you've met that really yeah. just kind of resonated with you. Yeah, well, um, when I first flew in, we did the Spotify Best New Artist Party, and then I ended up at Music Cares, and I got to do a medley with two other artists who are nominated for Best New Artist, um, Domi and J.D. Beck and Samara Joy, and I got to hang out with them a little bit, and they're both such incredible and, and just very unique voices in music, and it's really an honor to be in that category with them and with all the other very uh, kind of genre varied artists it's exciting and of course you are up against these people in the best new <laughs> artist category too mm -hmm. which is which is such an exciting field this year because yeah. you really have a lot of diversity yes yeah i think i would never expected to be in one of the general categories making this bluegrass record last year um, so it was a really wonderful surprise for me and then it was so fun to dig into the other artists music and realize how diverse the category is this year and everyone is bringing something so fresh to the table now, when you set out to be a bluegrass musician, mm -hmm. I mean, you know that's like, you know, it's it's a very niche kind of yes. path. <laughs> but then you're really kind of bringing it to the forefront and putting a spotlight on it in a way that hasn't been done for a long time since the O Brothers soundtrack, right. probably. Yeah, and when I was in grade school, O Brother was really big, and my dad grew up on a farm in Illinois playing bluegrass music, moved out to California, and that's where I grew up. So people don't often think of California as a bluegrass state, but I just kind of grew up to going to festivals and jam sessions. Um, but I was afraid when I was first starting out, I didn't want to be pigeonholed as just a bluegrass artist because it is a niche genre. Um, so so my first couple records I put out, I was trying to kind of break down those genre barriers. And then with this last one, I just, I think a lot of us coming out of the pandemic, we needed to celebrate. And for me, bluegrass is such a communal music where I was missing my friends. I wanted to just get, get together and have a jam session. So I made this record, Crooked Tree, um, and just embraced those roots from where I came from. And now you've made everybody want to come to those jam sessions. You know, <laughs> I hope so. Just because it seems like, like you said, so communal, so communal yeah. and, and, and such just a feel-good vibe. Yeah, well, it would be a dream come true to hear people playing some of the songs that I wrote for the album in a, in a bluegrass jam. <laughs> and, of course, you're a crazy mad picker, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, this is just, uh, you know, first of many and, thank and you. A, a really great career that you've built for yourself. And it just keeps <laughs> to, it seems to keep gaining in more and more momentum. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's such an honor to be here. It's a dream come true. <laughs> so you're going to be sitting out in the regular telecast, yes. too. You yeah. got a long night ahead of you. Oh, man, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm excited to see all the performers and just soak it all in. How did you uh, decide on your your beautiful gown. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I was working with a stylist out in Nashville, this guy Josh Owen. This is by a designer called Winnie Couture. Um, it's been a challenge walking around in it today, but I think <laughs> I think it's worth it. It's I love this dress. It's very Yeah, it's really fun. stunning. It's different for me too. <laughs> well, thank you, Molly. Thank you. Hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of you. Thanks so much. Congrats.